Hi everyone, welcome to this video where today I'm gonna to show you the special situations that happen with the relationship between the areas of similar figures. So first we're gonna discuss about the specific areas of similar figures and then we're gonna find missing measures of rectangles or any kind of similar figure. This first example is of course a rectangle. Um, and it's a pretty easy proportion to solve. I just have to set you up in the right way and then you're gonna be really good to go. So this statement here says, areas are proportional to the scale factor squared. So the area of one rectangle to the area of another rectangle, if I set that up as a ratio, would be equal to the scale factor from one rectangle to the other squared. So it kind of seems kind of confusing, like what am I even talking about? But let me prove that with this example here. So the area of this first rectangle, 12 times 20, is 240. The area of the second rectangle, 6 times 10, is 60. If I set up a ratio of those two areas, 240 over 60, it's gonna be equal to the scale factor from one rectangle to the next, so 12 over six, or I could do 20 over 10 squared. Now, 20, uh, 240 over 60 is four. 12 divided by six is two. Two squared is four. They're equal to each other. So the ratio of the areas is equal to the scale factor squared. Now, I'm gonna need that information to find some areas, but to also find some mis missing measures. So if I gave you that information and I said that 12 um, times 20 is 240, and I gave you this area here of 60, and I didn't give you this side length, which we know, by the way, is six, because I literally took these exact rectangles and brought them down here. But I wanna show you how we could solve for that missing side. If let's say we were just given the areas of two, and then we knew that 12 went along with the X instead of 12 just being the six here. So 240 over 60 would be equal to 12 over X squared. And again, we already know the answer is six, but I'm gonna show you how the math would work out. So 240 over 60 is four, 12 over X squared. You square the numerator, square the denominator. So that becomes 144 over X squared. We would multiply both sides by X squared, divide both sides by four, and take the square root and we get six, which is exactly what we knew it was because it was six up here. So I use this to set up proportions to end up doing my solving. That's gonna lead us to our first set of actual practice problems. It says each pair of figures is similar. Find the area of the second figure. So here we have triangles and we're not told the areas, but we can figure out the first area. Of course, the first area of this triangle, one half base times height, so four times three is 12 divided by two is six. So the first area of this triangle is gonna be six. Now I don't know the area of the second triangle, I'm just gonna call it A, but I do see the scale factor from one figure to the other figure, it's four to six. And that scale factor four over six would need to get squared. So one half times four times three, the area of my first triangle would be six. So that's six over A equals I square the numerator, square my denominator. So it becomes 16 over 36. And now this is just a basic proportion to solve. We cross multiply. So 16 times A equals six times 36. And I solve for A and I end up getting my area of 13.5. So the area of this first triangle is 12. This area of the second triangle is 13.5. Next one, parallelograms. I can calculate the area of my first parallelogram, just five times six base times height. I don't know the area of my second parallelogram, but I do see the scale factor. It's from five to two. So five over two, and then I need to square that fraction. So this then becomes 30 over A equals 25 over four. Let's cross multiply. So we get 25 A equals four times 30. We solve for A and we end up getting 4.8. So the area of this second parallelogram is 4.8 units squared. Here's a pentagon, and I'm gonna save us from having to do the whole apothem work and actually calculate the area. I'm just gonna give you the area. This first one is 16. So if I give you the area of the first polygon, but I don't give you the area of the second, I set it equal to the scale factor, three to five squared. This becomes 16 over A equals nine over 25. We cross multiply, and we solve for A. Pretty straightforward and simple. Last three problems, but instead of finding the area, we're solving for a missing length. So Area of my first triangle here is six. I'm gonna save us the one half base times height. We're just gonna do the math. So six times two is 12, half of 12 is six. So six over the area of 20, I'm given the area, would be equal to six over X squared. 
So this then becomes 3 tenths, I'm going to simplify that fraction, I might as well, equals 36 over x squared. We're going to cross multiply, so 3 times x squared equals 36 times 10, which is 360. Divide both sides by 3, take the square root, and we get approximately 11. And I say approximately 11 because I'm rounding to my tenths place. It was 10.9, and then the 9 was going to be rounding up, so I just called it 11. Okay, area of my first parallelogram here is 30, so 30 over 10 is equal to, I can set up my scale factor, 5 over x squared. So this then becomes 3 over 1, I'm just going to simplify that ratio, equals 25 over x squared. Let's cross multiply, so we get 3 times x squared equals 25, divide by 3, take the square root, and we get approximately 2.9. Last one here. We set up the ratio of the area, so 18 over 27 is equal to 4 over x squared. That becomes 2 thirds, I'm going to simplify my 18 over 27 to get 2 thirds, equals 16 over x squared, cross multiply, divide by 2, and take my square root. I hope these problems were easy enough for you, you can follow along. Rewatch if you need to. I know I went pretty fast, but the problems are pretty simple to do. Once you set up the proportion, it's just lots of basic solving. Thank you for watching.